you about all the best places to go on the Las Vegas trip where you can get a meal for under $10. And you might be like, $10? That's not cheap eats. Well, if you come to the Vegas Strip, you're going to have a hard time finding a meal under $15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we scoped out a bunch of locations for you. And these are the top, the best of the best. Even if you're a Vegas veteran, I bet you're going to find at least a couple on this list that you aren't familiar with. Okay, so first one is room service, but it's not exactly room service because room service in Vegas is super expensive. What we're talking about though is Uber Eats. You would be surprised the good deals that you can get delivered right to your hotel. You just have to go down to like the Uber area, the ride chair area. Yeah, so it's, up. so it's like room service, but uh -huh. you have to go down and get it. <laughs> And there's so many great deals that you can find and they're typically places that are just off the strip but they're being delivered to you and if you get in on the rotating deals that they offer every hour you can definitely find something for $10 or less per plate. One thing we cannot forget to mention is Groupon. You don't often think to go online when you're in Vegas, but that Groupon is a place where you can get great deals on food. For instance, you'll, you could spend $13 for $20 of credit towards food at various restaurants. We're standing in front of right now Taco Bell, which is just outside Planet Hollywood and just across from the Cosmopolitan. And I know what you're thinking, Taco Bell? I did not go to Las Vegas to go eat at Taco Bell, but this is not just any Taco Bell. This is their flagship location where they even have alcoholic beverages that you can get. And their combos are under $10. I think this location is really cool. I've been to Taco Bell's pretty much my whole life and I've never seen anything like this where they serve alcohol, everything looks totally different and the prices are pretty much the same as any other Taco Bell. One thing you're gonna wanna look out for in Las Vegas is happy hour deals because a lot of restaurants have them. They're not always advertised though, so sometimes you need to call or just ask. And sometimes you'll see them in, the so or in a sign when you're walking by the restaurant. Mm -hmm. But one that we know of is Maggiano's at Fashion Show Mall. It's, is it Monday through Friday or every day from three Weekday. to six? Weekday, weekdays from three to six. And if you're staying at Wynn, it's going to be right across the street, but if you're staying Center Strip, it might be a little bit of a walk or a short drive to get there. Yeah, but there's $4 flatbreads and beer and wine specials as well, so you can get some drinks while you're at it. Behind me is this Italian place that we really love in the Venetian called Canaletto. And this would not make it onto our Cheap Beats video, but every day, from 4 to 6 p.m. they have half price pizzas so they're gonna run you about 10 to 13 dollars depending on which one you get. A great option for breakfast, lunch, or dinner is Earl of Sandwich at the Miracle Mile Shops. For lunch or dinner you're looking at about eight bucks for breakfast under five dollars. Tons of options, everything on the menu is under ten dollars. On and around the strip you're going to find quite a few fast food kind of style places like burgers and fries and milkshake that kind of thing and one of those is shake shack between new york new york and park mgm another very popular one is in and out burger which is right between the link and the flamingo so that's super central on the strip there are also some other good ones in the link uh, promenade, like promenade yeah. that little strip where you can see the high roller and it goes right out to and the there's strip. a zip line going above you also in the link promenade is this hot dog joint called Half day doggery. Or to be more clear, hot doggery is I think how most people <laughs> would pronounce it. It's spelled H A U T E. Well, that's. How day. Okay, well, they're gourmet hot dogs with tons of toppings on them. And of course, hot dogs are kind of like a cheap food in the first place, but when you add all the toppings, it makes them a little bit more special. They look kind of fancy. And it's right on the strip as well, so if you're looking for some cheap food, you can also head there. If I don't mention this, I know we're gonna get a ton of comments, and that is, of course, pizza. Pizza on this trip can be very inexpensive, but you'd probably have to be trying pretty hard not to get at least a couple slices for under $10, so we didn't mention that. If you're looking for cheap food, find some pizza. One of the many cheap breakfast places in the Miracle Mile shops, it's called La Salsa Cantina, where they advertise a 99 cent Bloody Mary. See how that looks? This is what you get. <laughs> See the garnishes? Lack of garnish. Size difference? <laughs> oh, it's so tiny. This is basically one big gulp. Um, 
But I also got this breakfast for $4.79 and it comes with your choice of meat, eggs. They say eggs any style, so I ordered them poached and they're like, we don't do poached. Fried or scrambled. As you can tell, Jordan's a little bit salty this morning, but I'm not sure why. It's actually his birthday today. Ah, happy birthday, Jordan. Um, but yes, uh, it is a very disappointingly small Bloody Mary, however, very tasty. And this looks like a decent amount of food for the price. So here's another example behind me in the Miracle Mile shop called Blondie's. Under $4, you can get eggs the way you like it with like bacon or sausage and potatoes on the side, probably bread as well. They also have a Bloody Mary special, but seriously here in the Miracle Mile shops, it's like a jackpot of cheap food, especially for breakfast. So if you're looking for something under $10 or even under $5, this is totally the place to come. And you have so many options, like as many as you could possibly want to different styles of food. Ocean's One Bar and Grill in the Miracle Mile shops. This is where it's at. <laughs> there are so many great deals here, including for breakfast, where you kind of have the same like eggs and sausage or bacon but combo. I, I think even better deals in their breakfast are lunch and dinner. It's a mostly seafood menu, but there is other stuff on there. But everything is $4.99. And if you want drinks, it was what, three for 10? Yeah, three for 10. So that's a pretty great deal for right on the strip. <laughs> so another great place is this PBR Rock Bar. And just like so many of the others, you can get breakfast for about five bucks. But if you want coffee and you come before 11, you can get coffee for 99 cents here. 99 cents, cheapest coffee ever. Unless you're gambling. Which it would still be about 99 cents. Oh you're, yeah, you're, you're tipping, tipping. You're tipping a dollar. So <laughs> whether you're gambling or you come here, about a dollar. So. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think these Miracle Mile shops are like totally underrated. Not that many people recommend going here for cheap food, but it's like there are so many options. So if you're not sure, I say come to Planet Hollywood and head into the Miracle Mile shops and you're going to find all sorts of cheap stuff, including other things too, like souvenirs, shirts, that kind of thing. Yeah, or if you need a cheap date. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're over. <laughs> you also have on the strip some of your classic cheap eats type locations like McDonald's, and Panda Express, and good old Chipotle. There are various locations across the strip, and of course these are cheap elsewhere in the world, but they are also still cheap on the strip. Yeah, so you have a McDonald's next to Casino Royale. I don't know if there's another location of that on the strip. But there are a whole lot of Panda Express and Chipotle's in and around the strip. And on, Chipotle's, on and around the strip. I mean, Chipotle really fills you up. So for like yeah. $7, you will be totally full. And, and a lot of these chain restaurants, you'll see higher prices on the strip. But with Chipotle, I've noticed that they're pretty consistent with their prices regardless of the location. So a quick bonus tip, if you need to get cash out on the strip, and you don't have a bank that refunds all your ATM fees, the cheapest place to do that that I know of is in Casino Royale next to the cashier. There's an ATM there that charges $3 instead of the typical $8 to $10. Or more. But also in Casino Royale, if you head to the back of the casino, you'll find a 249 hot dog place. It's foot-long hot dogs for $2.50. And next to that is a Subway. And once again, Subway is something that's pretty common in the food courts around the Strip, so you'll see a lot of those if you explore throughout the hotels, but they're typically more expensive than what the usual prices you'll find at Subway. However, still in the cheap eats category, so if you're looking for mm -hmm. some grub that's not gonna break the bank, that is still one of your best options. Yeah, still qualifies for that under $10 limit that we set for this video. One of the most highly recommended places to eat on the Strip is Hash House A Go Go. And if you go there and you look at the menu, you're like, this isn't cheap eats, those tangerine travels are liars. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the portions are gigantic. So you can go there and very, very easily stuff yourself between two people for approximately $10 per person or less. So this is a great place to go. The food is delicious, gigantic, huge, amazingly awesome portions. And mm -hmm. it's right in the middle of the strip. There's one location at the link. I believe there's another one as well, but I forget. I don't know where it is. The one in the mm -hmm. link though, it's kind of hard to find. It's all the way in the back and then you go up Take an, an escalator, escalator. Yeah. and then you're there. there. But there is one catch with this. It's very, very popular. Mm -hmm. So if you go there, there's probably going to be an hour line. So this is a great opportunity to pull out, if you have it, your Caesars diamond card and cut the line. 
You it, might not make any friends this way, but you will skip the hour to 90 minute or maybe even two hour long line. And it, it takes a lot of gambling to get Caesar's Diamond, but in a previous video we made, we told you a trick to get Caesar's Diamond for almost nothing, and we'll link to that video above. Read that. Just about a 10 minute walk away from Cromwell and Bally's is Ellis Island, so technically it's a little bit off strip, but you're going to find some of the cheapest food around here. They not only have daily specials like Taco and Tequila Tuesday for $5, two tacos and a shot of tequila, but then also... Yeah, you can get breakfast every day before 11, steak and eggs for $6.99, it's so much food. Tons of food. Or for $7.99 later in the day with the Players Club card, you can get a steak dinner, which is just a giant plate of food for $7.99. So some pretty good deals here, and with their player's card, you get even more cash off, so uh -huh. it's worth the 10 minute or so walk. Definitely. If you're looking for some authentic Mexican food, you can head to North Strip at Tacos El Gordo, where you can get a taco for $2.50. Might be expensive by Mexico standards. Well, no, might. It would. It would be expensive by Mexico <laughs> standards, but for cheap eats, you can get at least four tacos for ten dollars it's cheap by vegas standards mm -hmm. but a warning here this is the closest thing i've seen to a mexican taqueria in las vegas one of the options is tripa t-r-i-p-a and <laughs> next to it or below it it says beef yes tripa does come from a cow but those are the intestines so be careful if you go there and you Just don't want know to what order. you're getting into. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this footage is courtesy of the channel Say Hi to Matthew. You should definitely go subscribe. He makes awesome Vegas vlogs. The next thing on our list is Denny's. I believe there are a few locations across the strip. One of them is located pretty close to Casino Royale and Harrah's. And I know what you're thinking, Denny's, oh my gosh, I did not go to Vegas to be eating some greasy diner food. But if you don't go to Denny's, you're probably gonna be getting some greasy diner food for approximately $15 to $20 a plate. So, this is a great option for your cheap <laughs> eats. We're going to be full and probably moderately satisfied, or I mean, if that's your thing, greasy dried food, like, you have at it, under $10. <laughs> One final bonus tip we have for you guys is about getting a VPN. One of the things a VPN can do for you is you can locate yourself in another country. When you're booking flights or booking hotels and you change your location to various countries, you'll often find that the prices are different depending on where you're located. If you want to check this out and save yourself some money in this way, you can head over to tangerinevpn.com and that will take you right over to the VPN we recommend the most where you also get the most bang for your buck. And we're an affiliate with this company and if you make a purchase through that link, it helps us continue making videos just like this one. And as much as we have scoured the strip, I'm sure there are some we missed so if we did please let us know in a comment what your favorite cheap eats is on the las vegas trip before we wrap up this video we just wanted to let you know that on the end screen in just a moment there will be our vegas playlist where we have all of our vegas videos with tons of money saving tips for you so be sure to check that out and if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to our channel to see more las vegas videos that we release and also videos about our life and traveling in mexico and across the world but one more thing. Gong that bell, so you will be the very first to be notified the next time we release a new video. And we'll see you soon.